irrational functions, we want to approach this just like adding any sort of fraction where we're looking to make sure we have a common denominator. Um, what we want to do is make sure that we factor our denominators so we can see what is in our denominator and see what we're missing between the two terms. So this top one, we have a negative 15x on the top over, so we want to rewrite this in factored term. So we take our right, factors of 16 that add up to a negative 8, and we get a negative 4 and a negative 4. So I'm going to rewrite this in factored form. And then plus we have 12 over, now x minus 4 is already factored. Okay, so now we're looking for a common denominator. Um, if we just look at these and say we want them to be exactly the same, that means that they will be a common denominator. They will have that common denominator. So I notice we have an x minus 4 here and an x minus 4 here, so that's set. But then our first fraction has this extra x minus 4, which means for these to look the same, I need that x minus 4 over here as well. Now the denominators are common. We want to make sure we remember though that if I'm going to multiply the denominator over here by an x minus 4, I better do it in the numerator as well as x minus 4. So now when we add fractions, that common denominator we found, the x minus 4, x minus 4, will stay as it is and we're going to add our numerator. So negative 15x plus 12 times x minus 4. Now, often in these, we're going to have to clean up the numerator a little bit. For example, we can distribute this to get a 12x minus 48. And then, let me just write that. So if we rewrite this, negative 5x plus 12x minus 48 over x minus 4, x minus 4. Well, we have some... Um, like terms we can combine, two terms with an x. So if we say negative 15x plus 12x leaves us with a negative 3x plus 48 over x minus 4, x minus 4. And that will be our final answer. So again, we, want, we had to factor to make sure that we had that common denominator in both before we could actually do the addition.